Imagine a heist so audacious it could have been one of the most lucrative in history. Picture the bustling city of London the year is 2000. The target? The diamond exhibition at the Millennium Dome. A local gang, audacious and fearless, had set their sights on the glittering gems on display. The crown jewel of their plan was the Millennium Star, a diamond with an estimated worth of 200 million pounds at the time. But the heist was not just about the loot, it was about the method too. A JCB truck, a common construction vehicle, was their vehicle of choice to break into the dome. The truck, modified for the heist, was to serve as their battering ram, their ticket into the fortress that held their desired prize. The stakes were high, the plan daring, the stage was set for a heist that would have made criminal history. Every heist begins with a plan, and this one was as daring as they come. The audacious plan of this London gang was not your run-of-the-mill smash and grab. No, they had their sights set on the glittering prize displayed in the Millennium Dome. They aimed to snatch away nothing less than the Millennium Star, a diamond of unparalleled value. Their weapon of choice? A JCB 3CX backhoe loader. Not a sleek, silent tool of the trade but a roaring machine of destruction, chosen for its brute force and unyielding strength. To execute their plan they modified this industrial monster. They transformed a common construction vehicle into a diamond thief's dream machine. They burnt three holes into the front bucket, a seemingly simple modification. Yet this was not for the sake of destruction, but for vision. The bucket, once raised, would serve as a shield, a barricade between them and any who dared to intervene. Through the holes they burned, they would navigate their path, keeping their eyes on the prize. Their journey to the dome was to be made in this very machine. They would arrive not in the dead of night, but in broad daylight, hidden in plain sight. The JCB, a common sight at construction sites, would raise no eyebrows on the streets of London. Once at the dome, the JCB was to be their battering ram. They planned to crash through the fence, tear down the side wall of the building and break into the area where the most valuable diamonds were kept. Their target was the protective glass, a fortress in its own right, designed to be bomb-proof. But they were confident that their modified JCB was up to the task. With this plan, they were not just attempting a heist, they were orchestrating a symphony of destruction and chaos, all in the pursuit of a diamond. The stakes were high, the risks even higher. With their modified vehicle they were ready to carry out a heist of epic proportions. On November 7, 2000 the gang put their plan into action. The day was drenched in anticipation, a storm of audacity and ambition brewing in the heart of London. The JCB 3CX backhoe loader, a machine of power and precision, was the gang's ride of choice, an unusual but fitting steed for their daring endeavor. The dome, an imposing structure of steel and glass, stood tall against the backdrop of the city. It was here that the diamonds, those glittering gems of fortune, were housed. The gang approached the dome in their modified JCB, the bucket, drilled with three holes, raised high like a knight's visor ready for battle. They were about to test the metal of the dome's defenses. The JCB, a roaring beast of metal, crashed through the fence in the side wall of the building, a battering ram against the fortress of the dome. The wall crumbled under the assault, giving way to the inner sanctum where the diamonds were kept. The gang had breached the outer defenses but the real challenge was yet to come. The diamonds were encased in a protective shield of bomb-proof glass, a final hurdle between the robbers and their fortune. The gang attacked this barrier with fervor, the JCB's bucket pounding against the glass like a persistent drum. The glass however remained unyielding. The gang was relentless, their determination fueled by the tantalizing glint of the diamonds just within their reach. Meanwhile the diamonds themselves were nothing more than elaborate decoys, a cunning ruse by the police who had been tipped off about the heist. Unbeknownst to the gang their dreams of wealth and glory were merely an illusion, a mirage dancing just beyond their grasp. They were inches away from a fortune when everything started to unravel. The music of their ambition was about to hit a sour note, the curtain about to fall on their audacious performance. The stage was set for the grand finale, the climax of this dramatic saga. The gang had played their part to perfection, but the final act was yet to come. As it turns out, the gang wasn't as invisible as they thought. The Metropolitan Police Service's flying squad had been watching their every move. The gang's past exploits in vehicle robberies had drawn the attention of the Kent Police Serious Crime Division. The intelligence gathered by them was passed on to the flying squad, turning the tables on our would-be diamond thieves. The flying squad, known for their prowess in tackling serious and organized crime, 
had been silently shadowing the gang, carefully studying their plans. They had been surveilling the gang for months, piecing together their grand plan. And what a plan it was, the audacity of it. But the flying squad was always one step ahead. In a master stroke of foresight the real diamonds had been swapped for decoys. The Millennium Star, worth a staggering 200 million pounds, and the other glittering gems that the gang sought, were safely tucked away. In their place, nestled under the bomb-proof glass, were decoys, identical in appearance but worthless. The gang, oblivious to the switch, pressed on with their audacious plan. They were mere inches away from their prized loot, the decoy diamonds glistening under the lights, when the flying squad sprung into action. It was a scene straight out of a blockbuster movie. Undercover officers, masquerading as dome workers and cleaners, swooped in, catching the gang completely off guard. The JCB, the gang's chosen vessel for their daring escape, was surrounded. The dream of unimaginable wealth, of diamonds that would make kings envious, was shattered in an instant. The gang found themselves not in a world of luxury and opulence, but in the cold, harsh reality of handcuffs and prison bars. In an instant the dream of unimaginable wealth turned into a nightmare of incarceration. The gang's audacious plan, their meticulously plotted heist had been foiled. The very tools of their downfall? A vigilant police force, a well-executed plan and a handful of decoy diamonds. The fallout from the failed heist was swift and severe. The Metropolitan Police, having foiled the audacious plot, wasted no time in bringing the gang to justice. Six members of the local London gang were apprehended on the spot. Their dreams of a diamond fortune shattered as decisively as their failed attempt to break the bomb-proof glass. Court proceedings were quick, the evidence, overwhelming. The gang's fate was sealed. In the year 2001, all six men were found guilty of conspiring to rob the Millennium Dome's diamond exhibition. They were handed down hefty sentences, a grim reminder of the price of their audacity. The leader of the gang received a whopping 18 years, while his accomplices were each sentenced to 15 years behind bars. Yet the aftermath of the botched heist extended beyond the courtroom, the audacious attempt left an indelible mark on the public consciousness. The yellow JCB 3CX backhoe loader, once a simple construction vehicle, became an icon of the heist. Its image, often seen in news reports and documentaries, served as a stark symbol of the gang's audacity and the lengths they were willing to go to secure their illicit fortune. The JCB's legacy was further etched into the annals of crime history when it was put on display at the Crime Museum in London. Visitors from around the world flocked to see the infamous vehicle, a testament to the enduring fascination with the audacious heist attempt. And so, the botched Millennium Dome heist lives on, not in the form of sparkling diamonds, but in the yellow husk of a JCB truck and the jail cells of six men. It serves as a stark reminder of the audacity of crime, the relentless pursuit of justice, and the thin line between a life of wealth and a life behind bars. Thus ended one of the most audacious heist attempts in history leaving behind only a trail of what-ifs. The London Diamond Heist was a tale of audacity, cunning and ultimately, failure. A local London gang driven by the allure of diamonds worth hundreds of millions, orchestrated an audacious plan. Using a JCB 3 CX backhoe loader, they intended to smash their way into the Millennium Dome and make off with a fortune. Their target? The Millennium Star Diamond, estimated at a staggering 200 million pounds. However, their plan was foiled by the vigilant Metropolitan Police Service's flying squad, who were already on their trail. The gang's every move was being monitored, their plan unraveled, and their dreams of pulling off one of the biggest robberies in history were shattered. Instead of diamonds, they found themselves facing jail time. So there you have it, the London Diamond Heist, a story of audacious planning, meticulous execution, and decisive law enforcement. It's a reminder that even the best laid plans can come crashing down, especially when you're plotting a heist worth hundreds of millions.